Well, welcome back to another one of our videos. Uh, we're up here in the mountains. We're gonna do another epic overland camping trip. Just taking the bare essentials as usual. This time we got the dogs with us. So we had to squeeze up a little bit to get some more room for them, but uh, they wanted to go. So uh, we're gonna bring them with us and that'll be pretty fun. Got my beautiful wife, Deb, and the Woody. And, and the... our bare essentials. We got Zerky in the back seat here. He hasn't got a lot of room, but he doesn't care. He's happy. He is happy. Yeah, so what'd you bring with us? Just a couple things. Like last time me and my buddy went, we took... I don't know. Uh, Hopefully we won't have a rollover by the extra weight <laughs> with all the, the things I need to be comfortable on these excursions. But is all I got to say, he's a lucky man because I don't know of anybody else that would do this kind of crap with him. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, we had to bring, uh, let's see, the Tempur-Pedic mattresses. There's two of those. The big heavy-duty minus 30-degree sleeping bags. Uh... Xerxes had to bring his Tempur-Pedic dog bed, so that took up a little bit of room. Uh, we got it. <laughs> I mean, this thing is just packed. It is so packed full of and stuff. The whole I don't. The whole back is, uh... <laughs> yeah, I don't even know how we got all this stuff in here, but it'll be nice when we get up there. But we are actually going about another six, seven miles into the back country, up in the mountains. We got this beautiful spot up there, uh, and the weather is perfect it's in the 70s right now gonna dip into the 30s tonight so it's gonna be nice and cool and it's gonna be fun and it'll be badass because <laughs> we're badasses All right. <laughs> <laughs> well uh come along for the ride because this will be a good one but we'll see you up there <laughs> Perfect timing. So Phil uh, met, it, met us up here. He's probably doing 60 miles an hour. We're doing three miles an hour. So hey, that was perfect timing. I just got up to you, right? <laughs> Figure we're going slow. Figure you catch us. So that was going fast. Yeah, I know. You <laughs> must have been cooking. So with all the gear, I wasn't sure if anything's going to fall off or not. So. Oh, yeah. I thought you could probably pick it up on the way up behind there us. There you go. <laughs> All right.
our campsite. Yep, we've been here a few times before. Whoa, oh, it's that down. hole right there. So, uh, there's my hammer I left last time. <laughs> and we get the tent set up and everything. And there's only but one thing left to do. First. <laughs> Cheers! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he's helping. He's helping by being a good boy. Getting the old teepee tent ready. Tippy tent is up. Did you find a shady spot, Zerk? While these guys are putting up the tent. Yeah, we we've, we've been out here before. So here's our um, fire pit, and it's real pretty up here in the Pine Nut Mountains. High desert, northern Nevada. People think of Nevada as Vegas and real deserty, but I think we have more mountain ranges in Nevada than any other state. And um, I don't know what elevation we're at here, probably 6,500. So it snows here quite a bit. It's really cool, very peaceful. Out in the middle of nowhere, just like we like it. Aw, look at these guys, so cute. We found a little shady spot. Tippy tent up. That took you guys how long? 10 uh, minutes? 10 minutes. 10 so minutes. With pounding all the stakes in? Yeah, yeah. this tent goes right up. This one's easy to do. And then I will be decking out the interior in moments, and then I'll show you. The transformation into the Taj Mahal. <laughs> hey, and when I'm out here in this back country, I gotta be comfy, baby. It's glamping. It It's sort of glamping. Yeah. It's fun. We're just two kids that never grew up, you know? We like playing in the dirt. It's healthy, right, Phil? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta have fun. Oh. We're not here for, what's my mom always say? We're, We're not, not here, here for a long, long time. time. We're, We're here, here for, for a, a good, good time. time. <laughs> How's that looking? <laughs> you want to video your... Good. Here's mine. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's a bug right here. Smash oh, it. it's a bee or something. Yeah, kill it. I don't want to get, I don't want to. Well, you know I'm sleeping with you tonight, either. Okay, it looks good. I got to zip it back up because there's some okay. boogies. We're yeah. just looking at some war wounds over here on the talon. Big old dent. I didn't notice that this got popped out. Uh, got to so, get a couple of these chairs. So we got these uh, zero gravity chairs. I'll show us how they work, Phil. <sighs> yeah. Good night. See you in the morning. They're so comfortable. And I think I got them on Amazon, and I, they were like seventy nine or eighty nine for two of them, and they're they're well made. I don't remember the name of them, but I'll I'll try to put a link in the description. But boy, they're so nice when you're camping because you can relax in them. What are you doing? You wanted so bad to come up here. Did you find your spot on on the bed? <laughs> all right. Well, I got it all set up for tonight. Zerkies is over here. He'll be nice and comfy and warm. He's got down and fleece. Carl just needs that. I don't like this big old thick sleeping bag on me, so I I bring a little down comforter for me and Woody. Well, camping's hard work. We're all relaxing now. Chillaxing. Chillaxing right now. It's starting to cool off a little bit. The little ween. He's relaxing. This boy is he done. We're gonna have to get some firewood. I don't know what it's gonna be like tonight, so hopefully it'll be cold and no wind. I think we're exploring. 
arrowheads. Huh? Oh. I said, what are we exploring for? Uh, arrowheads? Mining up here. Oh, look at the crystal, Phil. Oh, what? Crystal. Let me see. So, what well, these quartz crystals were, that's where they're looking for gold up yeah. in here. It's such a pretty nice one. Let's see. In the sun. So nice in here, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> well, Phil's got to go back to work tomorrow. Damn it! And we refuse to work. That's our motto. We're not doing it. We don't have to. We're not doing it. Give me a call if you have any trouble. Ha, ha, oh, ha. don't worry. You'll have to get up to the top of the hill, though. <laughs> yeah. We don't have any reception here, so. Well, the sun's got about two hours of light before it goes around that mountain. Uh, it's already getting chilly. It's getting a little chilly, but not, not too bad. Yeah, it's still pretty high. So we'll have to get our, all our lights and lanterns out and get prepared. So... Do a little dinner later on. Bill's got to go. Woody. The boys are ready for dinner. Yeah. You guys hungry? <laughs> you want to eat? Oh. Okay. Yeah. All right, Phil. We'll miss you tonight. Stay warm. We Bye, will. Bye, okay. Bye. See you later. Bye. Bye. Bye, Carl. And there he goes. Okay. The plan was we're gonna have smash burgers. And, uh, you know, we look through the little ice box there, and of course, uh, I did not put the burgers in there. They're still sitting in the freezer, all nice and uh, seasoned up and everything. But I did bring the no, onions you that are marinated. No, you I cut them up, that. I marinated them, they're in here. And um, I made extra big yeah, roast beef sandwiches, sandwiches we for lunch we which he was saying, why are you making so much? And I'm like, oh, I don't know, you never know. Yeah, she's a good survivalist. Um, so she overproduces. And we have salad. So we'll survive. So I don't know. These onions smell really good. And uh, I'm thinking this the sandwiches grilled in there with onions in the sandwiches is going to be it's going to be, be good. Perfect. Yeah, I'm It'll good to go on that one. Yay! Okay, so let's put a little butter in there and get this thing rolling. All right, that's probably all we need. I'm going to save that butter for tomorrow morning with our breakfast. I've got some ciabatta rolls. We're going to brown up with some bacon. Oh yeah, that's looking <laughs> good. <laughs> I like it. Yeah, that's a ticket right there. And Whoa, we're going, to attra we're going to attract all the bears. Okay. We did see some bear sign up here. I yes, don't know did. if they like onions or not but i'm sure they do they don't like dogs so we're safe oh we got the big we have boy a big pit bull and we have a little wiener look dog. at him he's on high alert the only reason he's on high alert is because oh, there's look food at him in his new jacket. You look so well, handsome. he's a handsome boy <laughs> but i'll tell you having uh, xerxes around he's a guard dog because he can hear everything but actually Woody woody's is got the, the super sensitive hearing and he goes off first and then you know xerxes chimes in after that but there's nobody sneaking up on you with these dogs around. <laughs> oh yeah, do it. I'm do I'm going to. <laughs> Let me help you put that on there. Maybe so I don't burn my fingers. <sighs> okay, hold on. Okay, well this one's probably got enough, and then I'm gonna put that in there. Hold on. Oop! Lost the camera angle there. Let's save a little bit for the the bear later tonight. <laughs> let's put that okay, in let's there. grill okay, up the sandwich so it'll be like dinner. Oh, look at that. We salvaged our dinner. We didn't have the smash burgers. We'll do them again. We have uh, roast, big roast beef. This thing's a massive. Grilled. Look at that. That <laughs> even looks better. I think that's the way to go. It's a lot easier. Oh, I don't know, honey. You were telling me this morning, why are you making so much? I'm like, well, you never know. Well, she makes enough for six people, and, and uh, every once in a while works out. So Phil just a showed sandwich, up today. But <laughs> normally we have to make food for Phil. But he was he hey, was good today. He he rolled all the way out here, man, just to hang out for a couple hours. Yeah, so we appreciate so that. Nice. So thanks, Phil. He's our partner in uh, UTV crime. 
He's okay. the only other crazy person. He uh, he loves this, and uh, just like we do. Well, get the sun. There's the sun a, there's the moon up over, over here coming up. It's gonna be cold tonight. My sun, yeah, it's chilling down. I've got my little temperature gauge. We'll see what it comes down to. Okay. Until we eat. All right, just flip them over. Mm. This could be a new recipe here. <laughs> you got, uh... The dinner, <laughs> aka saved by lunch. Saved by lunch. If you could smell this, it's, it's absolutely insane. Mm. It smells so good. I don't know. Cooked onions are just the best. Okay, well, let's I'm keep ready. going. All right, well, let's uh, try that sandwich out. I want to hear. <laughs> Salad is the wonderful. Salad's really good. I'm gonna go sit down though. Okay. Sit down. Okay. <laughs> let's uh, let's hear the verdict on this sandwich. <laughs> Can we call it the smash sandwich? Mm, delish. Is it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <Nice. laughs> Grilled onions, roast beef. You got some cheese on there. Pickles. What else more, is on on, more onions inside. More onions inside of it. Heated it all and up. And a southwest salad. Southwest salad. So the boy looks like um, he thinks it's good. What do you think? They want some. I know, but you can't have onions. It's not good for you. No onions. I'm sure. You see a bear over there? What'd you see over there? You didn't see a bear. Yes, you did. It's a really pretty sunset. Beautiful. You want to take a hike up the hill here? Look at this. Looks like it's Christmas. Are you a Christmas dog? Look <laughs> no, at you. It just oh, keeps my God. Warm. It's cold out here. It's not that cold. But he I likes it. treat my babies really good, huh? <laughs> yeah, they don't suffer. And they love to be out here in the wilderness and, uh, Wherever we're going, that's where they like to go. Right? What do you think? You happy? Oh, tail wing. What do you want to do? Want to go for a, a hike? Let's go. Where do you want to go? Oh, you want to? Oh, here he goes. Where do you want to go? You get out of it. Come on, come on, this way. Go. So we hiked up to the top of the. Ridge line here where I got cell service. Phil, I just go and uh, called Phil to see how he, if he made it back okay. And uh, we had a site situation. Phil, tell me what happened on the no, way back to your truck. Just scary. From, uh, from the truck down by the water tank. And I came over this little bit of a kicker. There's a little bit of a left hand sweeper. By the car, time the car settled, I was already sliding towards this big rock and I hit it. And I talked with the lower control arm, oh, no. uh, blew out the front tire and the rear tire. I don't know. I got, I can't really see if there's a hole in it yet or if it just, uh, it just lost air pressure. So Phil just sent me this. What part is just snapped in half or they're bent in half? That's the, the back part of the lower control oh. arm. So quarter mile from your truck on the way back, uh, that can am is a monster it's a beast it's so well made for that to happen obviously you're going above 15 miles an hour is that correct <laughs> <laughs> yeah i was going slightly above 15. oh my god look at that thing dude it's just oh it's just bent like a toothpick oh god well stuff happens move forward we are getting the most beautiful sunset here in northern Nevada. High desert. We're up in the Pine Nut Mountains. UTV camping baby is where it's at. Look at this. This is gorgeous. I thought we were too low to be able to see this, our campsite, but it's really cool. Beautiful. Kind of looking towards Lake Tahoe. Okay, the wind has died off. It's a beautiful evening. We've got a little fire started. It is a gorgeous, nice, a little breezy today. And uh, temps cooled off, but not, not cold, cold. So we'll just keep a small fire going. 
you can see out here. Sun's behind the mountain. And poor Phil, you know, his machine is just a beast and for it to, and we've been through some stuff, man. And thank God I hiked to the top of the ridge where I got reception. He, he, luckily he limped that thing back to the um, trailer down below, but you know, could have been a different situation. It's always good to come out, you know, in pairs. Um, we're out here by ourselves. We're not too far where we couldn't hike it out. We're both fairly decent shape, <laughs> but we wouldn't want to do it. So we're going to get set for a nice evening. Hold on. Always nice. He is getting tired, but he wants to be by my side all the time. He's an amazing dog. He's like a little, like I'm a little human. Because he is. He's your ride or die partner all the time. <laughs> right? There's not been a lot of fires out here in Nevada, and typically we've had thousand fires before, and this year it's just been a handful, so thank God. It's been so wet, and nothing's burning. We had a lightning strike here um, a couple days ago with two, two inches of rain, so did start a fire over uh, near Gardner Grand Menden and stuff, and they were able to put it out, but all in all, this has been a great year. Oh, I put Woody to bed in the tent. And this is what I'm coming back to. Oh, it looks nice. <laughs> Yay. Zerky's warm. He's got two jackets on. Oh, and his blankie. Oh, my God. There's no way. He's hot. Oh. Uh, so cool. Okay, now I'm gonna sit down. <laughs> yeah. Really beautiful. Okay, so he's Xerxes got himself. He's yeah. He just got a little blanket over him right now. It's too early for you to go to bed, so you need to just lay down, relax. Got the nice little campfire going on here. Wind's oh, this died is awesome. Down. This is real great. And then this is what the it's all heat about. is just coming this way, so it feels really good. So this has been a great day. Except for Phil. Yeah, I feel bad for him. But, you know, things work in mysterious ways, and he kept telling me he wanted to upgrade his rims and tires on his can Yeah, but now rig. he gets to <laughs> now upgrade he's forced his whole rig. To. Yeah, I mean, that thing is... It's just built so strong that... I'm shocked that he bent anything on that. But obviously, he was he likes to ride fast. And, and uh, just a really easy, pretty easy ride. Like Yeah, well, there's some big rocks this I year, know, you know, I with know. all the rain we just had uh, a few days ago. Yeah. And you hit one of those rocks at, you know, high speeds, and nothing's going to withstand that. So. But he's okay. He's at home right now. We're stuck up here camping. Oh, Darn it. I know. <laughs> well, everybody else goes to work. Oh, life's a bitch. Yeah, somebody's got to do it. Okay. Look, he's like covered up. He doesn't want to go to bed. He wants to stay right here with us. It was cool last night and breezy. So every time the wind shook the tent, you know, woke me up. But uh, how's that for a sunrise? Look at that. It's pretty cool. So I think 
name of the game is try to get some coffee going. I don't know. Start a fire. Oh, did you make it? So I had to take my jacket and put it over him, plus any other clothing we had, because he was cold last night. Huh? When he's cold, he doesn't even move. All right. Well, wife's gonna make us a cup of coffee. We got a small fire starter because it's freezing. And I can't wait for that coffee. It's gonna be good. Are you too cold out here? You had to go get your bed and bring it out? You're spoiled. What kind of dog are you? This guy. I just cut my Nespresso pods open <laughs> and make a good pour over. Since we can't bring my Nespresso machine out here, but this is just as good. And these cups are awesome because they keep everything super hot. That's, this is the best part about camping right here. It's just sitting by the fire and having a good cup of coffee. And thinking, I've got to put and pack all that stuff back up and load it up on the tower. What do you think, sir? Want some coffee? Whoa. Uh oh. Woody's afraid of uh, sparks. Oh, it smells good. We'll do a little, uh, little bacon. These eggs going. We'll toast some of that bread. It'll be yummy. <clears throat> Our breakfast chef is at work here. Right. <laughs> We're not having much in UTV camping. <laughs> I don't know how we bring all this stuff, but we seem to do it. I, bet. So I know, mine does too. Yeah, yummy. Well, believe it or not, I don't know how we get all this stuff on this rig, but we do. We're not quite done yet. <laughs> and we will leave no trace. We still have the table. What else have we got left? The table, the tarp, the moving blanket, this box of junk, camp camping stuff. And that, and I'm gonna put their, put another layer of dirt on that uh, fire pit. So it'll be all good. Okay, mission complete. I don't know, it is so much work to camp, especially when you're loading everything in a side by side, it's crazy. But uh, the camp is clean, fire's out. This thing's loaded up to the brim. My wife still looks beautiful. I don't know how, how that could be, but she's... Don't get close. Right? Don't get close. I don't got any filters on this camera either. <laughs> well, you better this put This boy, on. he's ready to go home. He's ready, he's to, go ready home. to go home. Yeah, leave no trace. We're good. I'm ready to go home. We even picked up some somebody else's garbage. Yeah, so oh, I hope okay. you guys enjoyed the uh, the video. Uh, we're up in just this beautiful country. It's it's fun to come up and make these. It's a lot of work, but we love it. Please subscribe to our channel. We're getting more subscribers. Our goal is just to get to 500 right now. We're pretty close. We only got a few more to go. So keep keep hitting that subscribe button. So people want to know why do we do this? Yeah, I don't uh, know. we're just big kids, I guess, and 
We do it because we can. Yeah. We're just lucky. We're in pretty good shape for being a couple of old farts. <laughs> but um, who else gets to do this, you know? This is awesome. Yeah. Yeah, it's we're a lot so of lucky. Work, but I'll take it. All I'll right. Take pocket knife. <laughs> we'll see you on the next one. Bye. Pocket knife. We just saw this huge coyote. I mean, it, it, it was bigger than Xerxes. He's at 80 pounds and it looked like, a, you know, it was so big it looked like a wolf, but it was a coyote.